Hello everyone, this is Animation 4, welcome back to some more Pathfinder. Um, so I am here, back in what's soon to be the old base, uh, to do a little bit of crafting. Did I say a little bit of crafting? I meant a lot of crafting. So, ignore the first door. The first door is the stuff I just have stored in the bag. Everything past the entire top row is what I need to craft with. Boop. It's a lot of things. Um, I want to say it was over 800 capacitors. Right here, uh, 17 times 32. I don't know. I don't feel like doing that math right now. It's a bunch. And it should be exactly how many I need, along with all the other supplies, uh, to make... You know, how many, you know how many things this makes? How many blocks this makes? This makes 10 blocks. All these can combine down to 10 blocks. Yeah. So, I have to make 10 vibrant capacitor banks, which is... 40 of these, and um, 40 of these, and 40 of these. To make these, that's two of these, so that's 240. That's some amount of these red ones. I, I did all the math already, I don't feel like doing it again. Um, so I'm just gonna get started. Actually, I only need to make 10 of the basic ones, right? Yes. Um, I think I have too many of these frames. Okay, I'm just gonna... Do it this way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. You have to make a ton of these red ones now. Yeah. And perfect. Um, one, two, and a half. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this should be it for the red ones. That's where most of the things, most of the ingredients went, just making, compressing these down, because they are, like, really annoying. So that's it for the red ones. Now I need to make uh, all of these, and I need to make as many of the green ones as I can. Yeah, it looks like I made too many. No, that's right. No, it's not. That's not right at all. Um, yeah, I definitely made too many. Uh, so let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes! That is so too many. What? Oh, because the capacity banks are doubled. These ones use the iron. We've got a bunch of the iron. Yeah, I definitely made too many here. By a long shot. Oh, that's... I need to pull nuggets. Okay, so I wasn't exactly right in making all this stuff. I should get a bunch out, right? So this 20. Um, do I have temp I have four temporal nuggets. Actually, I have a few extra of these. That should work. And I need some... Notice my EMC. Um, that just happened naturally, totally. You can believe me on that. <laughs> uh... Oh, I don't have to... Why did I get too much stuff? Yeah, I was way off my counting. There. Yeah, this makes 20. Okay. I guess I'm making 20. Thought I was making 10. I was wrong. Um, and vi vi vibrant, and I need more of the tempor ingots though. So it's this, this. What? What is it? It's manganese. Right, I actually didn't get the manganese yet. That was the only thing I didn't get because my bag was getting full. <laughs> Weird, right? Okay, one. Two, three. Okay, so besides the fact that I made double of what I had to, see, these things are pretty expensive. As that That's everything in the bag, except for the redstone and iron. But all those capacities I had to make by hand. Yeah, 
So this should hold pretty much all the energy we need once I get 20 of these. What will that be? Uh, 500 million RF? Something like that? Sound right? Yes? Yes, that's right. Uh, and that should store... That, that should that should fill up pretty quick, pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go put this in, and yeah. Okay, so a few things I've done. Um, apparently, a while ago, I made a machine infuser, and I just like left it in this chest right here with all my other useless stuff. Uh, apparently, you can do something with that. So, if you look at uh, RF tools. Uh, and you press shift, you, they all have this infusing bonus, well, most of them do. Uh, see it says infusing bonus and all that stuff. Uh, you can infuse them in the machine infuser and they get that bonus. So the main infusion I looked at was on the tier one crafter, because this is just a tier one crafter. The infusing bonus is reduced power consumption. So yeah, it's like not using any power now. I infused this, by the way, in case you, in case you were a little confused. Uh, so I should be able to pump a lot more cobble into this thing, and you should get a lot more fuel. The second thing I've done is a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than two blocks. Just, just a little bit. I built two more turbines. Yeah, and I also have this, it's now a little glass room. It's using quite clear glass, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff. How I make it, I have absolutely no idea because I made it a while ago. Like this, apparently. <laughs> apparently, something like that. But it has EMC, so I just like made a bunch. Now we have a glass case around this, totally invisible from this side, which is really cool. And an elevator that goes down. Oh, also you could see the pipes. And the thing about the pipes, they can transfer infinite amount of RF, yes? But I don't need to because these... These don't output an infinite amount of RF. They output a limited amount. And I'll show you what that limited amount is. Oh, lag. Hi. But if you look at the pipes, man, do they look cool. They're like thick and awesome. They're all like octagonical if you look at them closer. Yeah, they're just awesome. So here we have the capacitor bank. It was off by a little bit, apparently. Apparently, it only it's holding 475 million. I thought it would hold 500 million. Uh, but the max I.O. is 475,000, which is far larger than any other cable can handle except these cables in specific. So when we start using this to do stuff, I'm going to need these very thick, awesome blue cables. Look at them, octagons. Uh, so I built two more turbines, uh, just taking what I learned from building this one. So this one right here, is running 60 blades. I don't know why I did 60. At 18, a 1.8k a millibuckets a tick. 1.8 millibuckets. 1.8 buckets a tick. Um, at 1818.9 RPM for 20.9k RF a tick. Uh, these two are both exactly the same, except for their interior slightly. Well, obviously, uh, this one actually has 72 blades. Uh, because I was planning on running it at 1800, but that pushes it too far past. You see this little yellow bar? Once you get a certain distance past 1800 RPM, you actually start losing RF per tick. So I found this nice 1770 um, with, it only needs 70 blades, but there are 72 in there. D the extra two don't do anything, as far as I know. And I'll show you proof of that. Uh, so it's 18398, which is pretty close to 1800. Um, it's at to the point where changing the RPM would change the RF per tick by like one or two. But 21,000 RF a tick. This one is actually one RF a tick higher. Uses exactly 70 blades. And all of them use four enderium coils. For a total output of 62,000. I wanted to make sure I didn't get my math wrong. 62,000 RF a tick. Um, but again, this actually is putting four... Uh, 40,000 through it. So I do need these cables here. Not on this side though. So in terms of steam production, they t in total use about 5,400 millibuckets a tick of steam. It's fine. It's like jumping up and down just because 
of the nature of these things. But it can handle it, no problem. I could probably do three more and it'd be fine. These things produce a lot of steam. And we get a lot of power from it. So, what do I do now? Well, I was just looking at what we got in any eye. And I found a entire mod that might be pretty cool to try out. Um, I'm just going to come all the way down here to my, my lair. If you search computers, you don't have computer craft. Um, but reactors do have the computer ports. I think these are for computer craft. Um, but what we do have is something called open computers. Now, I've never seen this before. So obviously, I've never used it before. But what it seems like is you actually like build computers in the game. See, there's like the CPUs, there's graphics cards, there's RAM, there's hard drives. There's an operating system. Where is it? Open OS. So yeah, that 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 I wanna I wanna try this. So there's three tiers. Um, and you start off with the case. Like, there's, there's lots of in-game documentation for this. If you right-click on any of these blocks, it'll, like, tell you so much information about it. Um, so, you start with the case. If you're making a... I'm making a computer. So, you start with the case. And this is what we got for the case. Uh, it's going to take PCBs, which are raw circuit boards just cooked. Which is clay, a gold nugget, and cactus green. Do I have... That might be a problem. I might not be able to get cactus. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are there cactus seeds? They're totally cactus seeds. Maybe I can't. Hmm. How do I get... How do I get these cactus seeds? I don't think I found a desert yet. Okay, well, I guess I'm looking for a desert. Okay, so that's something I'm going to have to do. So let's look at what other things you can craft without the green. Um, uh, so we're going to need a CPU. Uh, obviously tier 3. It's going to take two tier 3 microchips, a control unit, and an ALU. Oh, ALUs are fun. Uh, transistor, gold nugget, paper, and iron nuggets. Okay, I can, I can do that. Okay, let's try this. Iron. Paper. Uh, redstone. I'm just gonna make a ton of these because I have the materials. Um, and I'm guessing we need a bunch. Where is transistor? Is that not part of this mod? That'd be hilarious. Oh, I need iron nuggets, right? Okay, so let's go right. Lag. Lag, please. Right here. Transistor. Let's make a whole bunch of them. Oh, there's achievements. Neat. Tell Red I said hi. Is that a... Is that a Shawshank reference? I don't know. Create a transistor to get started, then listen to the soundtrack. I don't know. Something like that. So we made a transistor. And ALUs take microchips, which are transistors, iron nuggets, and some more paper and stuff. So let's make a few of these microchips. 21, that sounds good. All the small things, because vacuum tubes are so yesteryear. They are indeed. I guess this... I guess this holds memory. Technically, that's what they just said. <laughs> um, so now we can make the ALU... I think you need a few of these. Well, obviously, you need a few. Computers have like hundreds of these, if I'm not mistaken. What am I missing? K yo necesito. I need more iron nuggets. Ion. Okay. Where is the ALU on this? Here it is. Let's make five. Yeah, we can now add five plus five. I think that's like, yeah, that's like, that's easily, easily fit. I don't know, they don't tell me what, what the, the width of data in this ALU is. I need to know. Okay, control unit. Transistor, clock, okay, so, clock. 
and some more gold. And we should be able to make the control unit. Control unit. Now just this. Boom. There it is. And microchip tier three. Diamonds. Oh no, I don't have enough diamonds. Uh, microchip tier three. Jeez, I can, <laughs> I can find like what I'm trying to craft. I can never find it in this huge list on the side. So we should be able to make us. I need emeralds. Do I have emeralds? Oh, you know what? You know what? I don't think I've found emeralds yet. And you know how I can get emeralds? Oh man, this is gonna be a side project. I actually used it to make the thing over there. The villager creator. Um, this thing? Yeah. I need to make another one of these. Because I need to actually get some villagers now. To trade for emeralds. <laughs> okay, that's a thing. So I guess I have my work cut out for me. In terms of this mod. And in terms of getting villagers now. I should just learn iron. Yeah, so I'm going to now go make another one of those and search for a desert. Okay, be right back. I may have found a desert without having to look. Success. I think that's a cactus right there. That was really hard to see because it's dark. Oh, a house. I'm intrigued. Is there a cactus in said house? There's a bed. Can't use it. Hmm. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, a little bit of lag. Oh, cactus. There's some. I found it. I'm a winner. Okay, and it has EMC, so I never need to get. I need. I never need to come back here again or ever go cactus. I'm fine with this. All right, it's time to get some emeralds. And we do it like this. Boom. Hello. I made you. Sixteen blueberries. Get out of here. Who's next? Hi. 17 raw chicken. Does raw chicken have... It does have EMC. Do I have any raw chicken? I do. Here you go, buddy. This is for you. Raw chicken doesn't stack to 17. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. You're a no help to me. Bye. Next. Hello. Uh, no. Next. Boom. Hi. You're the same thing. You, 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 guys, go down there. Have fun in the caves. Caves are fun. You like climbing, right? Uh, no. Get, get out of my way. I'm trying to access this thing. Oh no. I killed him. Uh, one of these. At this time. 16 more chicken. I can do that. See, you use logic. You understand that chicken only stacks to 16. Thanks for your emeralds. Which don't have EMC, so I need you alive. I want, I want to unlock his trades, because he has... He actually has trades, so... I'm trying to get them unlocked. As you do. Oh my god. Are you just, do you just have all saplings at this point? You better not just have all saplings. I'll be very disappointed in you. You might be like forced to have just these trades. Oh, there, there we go. Spinach. I don't have spinach. Okay, but you I will keep in this cage. Yeah. Here's your cage, ain't it pretty? There you go. Now you're all safe and stuff, see? Ta -da. What are you doing here? You know, this ain't no public zoo. Okay, so let's see how many emeralds we can get out of this guy before he denies us. Got eight. So you now have a source of emeralds. That's good. We should now be able to make our first CPU. I think. Yes. I think I have everything. I probably don't, but I might. I need redstone. Hit. And shaboom. Tier 3 CPU. And computer case. I can now make the printed circuit board because we have clay. Um, because we have clay. Because we have 
cactus green and clay blocks and oh i have gold nuggets right here so one two three apparently making circuit boards is just that easy so we got that uh iron bars hey didn't i just get some of those and a chest and a tier three microchip i think i can make the microchip right now i can now we just need a chest and we should be able to make our first computer case in case of trouble ha 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 so funny because cuboid towers are the best they are indeed oh my god i don't know what's going on um so this is the cpu goes that's that's good so we fi figured it out okay you know how to build a computer it's, you just kind of put all the parts in next up is the ram uh so tier three microchips tier two microchips and printed circuit boards uh, how much RAM can this... I'm just going to leave the case out. How much RAM can you hold? You can hold two sticks of RAM. Whoa. You're going to go tier 3.5. Uh, so I need uh, six of the best microchips, which means I'm probably going to need more diamonds. Okay. Uh, this crafting is taking a little while, so I'm going to now do it off camera a little bit. Maybe I'll just fast forward this, time lapse it. Yes. Time lapse it. In a sec. You can't hear what I'm saying. You can't hear what I'm saying. You can't hear what I'm saying, but I'm not saying that much. Okay. Okay. Bit of crafting. Okay. 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 Bit of crafting later. Um, so I got the CPU, I got two uh, tier 3.5 uh, RAM chips, what, what do they call them? Chip. RAM cards, I guess they'd be. Um, and there's a three and a two here, so you can only have, I can even highlight it on the side. You can only have um, a tier three and a tier two, you can't have two tier threes. But that still gives us um, six megabytes of memory, whoa. Six megabytes of memory, that's really weird, why is it doing that? Uh, which is, I'm guessing that's pretty good. Uh, for, a, for a computer in a game, that's pretty good. And I made a tier 3 graphics card. So now we need some uh, peripherals. Mainly, uh, I think we need a disk drive. Because if you actually look at the computer case, it says you stuff about uh, booting up. Um, a hard drive to install the operating system on. So you have to install an operating system. And it says, after booting from an OS floppy from an external disk drive. So we have to make a operating system, which is right here. The open OS. I think that's what we need. BPM. I'll probably figure out what all these are, but mainly we need this open OS, which is a floppy disk. And... A book so theoretically that that should have EMC um, so let's get a disk and a lever we don't have a lever so let's grab a piece of cobble because I have a stick and let's teach this thing how to make a freaking lever hi what you doing? Just chilling in the ground there? You people are very strange. Okay. There are disc. Disc. Where's the basic disc? I don't know. And any paper. I know, slightly encumbered. Disc and a book. One, two, done. Okay, so now we need a external disk drive. 
I need a tier one microchip and a printed circuit board. I actually have a tier one microchip and a printed circuit board. I just need a sticky piston and a stick. Sticky piston and a stick. Uh, does it need iron? Totally need it iron. Okay, we should be able to make the disk drive. Uh, next we need a screen. So, I don't know if this actually has to be colored or not. So we need another tier 3 microchip. And I'm actually just going to do some of this crafting real quick. Give me a second. Still can't hear what I'm saying, because I'm muting what I'm saying. Still can't hear what I'm saying, but I'm still not saying that much. Okay, got a few more things crafted. There's one thing I want to craft that's kind of awesome. Um, so we have a computer, right? How are we going to control the computer? Well, we're going to make a ton of these buttons. And we're going to do this. This is just... It's just crazy how comically accurate this mod is. Uh, I think that's good. I might need one more set. Yeah, I need one more set. We have to make our own buttons and build a keyboard. <laughs> and also, some of these... Um, uh, achievements, hot dog dealer. Um, have you tried turning it off and on again? No, seriously, Redstone Pulse can toggle the screen's power. Oh, really? Cool. Uh, with patented anti cable spaghetti technology. Uh, type to go analog. Yeah. It's highly recommended to resist the urge to flip them around and shake them. Okay. Oh, I get it, because the keyboard. <laughs> get the dirt out. Get, it's all dirty. So I'm actually going to build this thing in the new base. I'm calling this the new base now. Uh, because it does actually take power. And I feel like once it's set up, it's going to be kind of hard slash a pain in the neck to move. So it's going to go right in front of this huge thingy. So I got a power converter right here. And I'm going to grab one of the cables. Do that. This thing can now take power. I also made the computer two capacitors. Uh, I should not put them right here because that's a weird spot. So I'm not sure how these exactly have to connect together. Um, where is my... I left the case in the other base. Uh, this is probably the last thing I'm going to do this episode just because this is me failing at everything. Good thing these don't break when you pick them up. Um, I'm assuming if I try to pick it up once all the stuff's in there, I'm just going to destroy everything inside it, because you know that's how computers work. Okay, so we got the case, and we're going to put in hard drive, hard drive, um, where's the CPU, and the memory, and I made a redstone card. Uh, it allows using actually wireless redstone, which is really cool. You can just send a wireless signal without having to set anything up for it. A graphics card and a redstone card. And I also made three screens. I'm not sure if you can know multi-screen, but if you can, I will be able to do that. I'm not sure what this is either. Uh, that's to be some something that looks like that, right? Oh, small programmable storage that contains the bio the BIOS computers used to boot. The EPROM is what contains the code used to initialize the computer when it's being booted. That is stored as a plain byte array. Maybe this, this is such nerdy talk, but I'm actually understanding what they're saying. That is stored as a plain byte array may mean different things to different CPU architectures. For example, for Lua, it's usually a small script that searches for file systems with an init script. For other architects, it may be actual machine code. I think I actually have to make one of these to turn it on. Um, but I will also put in the disk drive. And I will put in the floppy disk. Ooh. Oh, that is so cool. That, that's actually sticking out a little bit. Can I like run past it and snap it off? Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so now we need to place the monitors. I'm hoping you can do triple mon- Oh, it just expands. Awesome. And a keyboard. Okay, so I must need that. Okay, I'm going to craft it real quick. Okay, 
I got the Lua Bios. Don't, that's not what I meant. Wait, this is what I meant. Okay. So now that's in there. Um, whoa. It now has a, probably a UUID. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Um, uh, that's really hard to read. Can I? That doesn't break anything. Okay, I'm going to want more screens so I can make this larger. Use an analyzer to get information on blocks, for example, to find out why a computer crashed. Okay, um, can I type? How do I type? Uh, do I actually have to, need to put this like in front of it? Oh, geez. Oh, man. Oh, man. We in there. Um, file system is read only. Of course it is. 2048k RAM. Nice. Okay, so this is just running now. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm definitely going to want a bigger monitor. And actually, I can actually... Th this mod is so cool. It actually has documentation like in it. So if I wanted to use the wireless card... Uh, open Computer's API, just right here. Get input, get output, set output, set wake threshold. All that stuff. So can I... Does this have me? It does. Make this even... You know, if it doesn't really... So this can't be reversed. Okay, I think it's already read-only. That's the thing. That shut down? Totally can. So now do I not need that anymore? Unrecoverable. I know BIOS found. It's all configured EPROM. What if I actually take this and put this right in here with OpenOS? Running boot scripts. Equals component dot component name dot method name. Okay, cool. Now I can like do Lua. So if I like try to print high, will that work? Oh, sh Ha 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 Press control C to exit the interpreter. Prefix an expression with equal to show its value. Equal, I don't know. Okay, so that is pretty cool. We now have a functional computer. That is actually really awesome. Um, <laughs> built it ourselves. And apparently, you can actually connect to the internet with it. There's um an actual internet card. Where is it? One of these is an internet card. If I looked at it already. Uh, I can find it. I can find it. Network. Redstone. Wireless network. Internet. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. There's also, like, networking. You can have, like, acts like a switch, that kind of thing. I think this is actually a switch item. Yeah, this is, this is an actual switch. So yeah, this is a really cool mod, and I want to try to get into it, get stuff working with like these kind of computers, because that'd be really cool. Uh, but I think I'm way over time. I don't know. I haven't checked the time in forever. So I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.